Now, let me just give you a brief word on the primary source materials that I assigned to you. Um, I'm going to give you here on the screen some questions to think about as you read through those materials that we'll talk about in class. The first one I gave you is from Karl Barth, and it's an excerpt called uh, titled Israel and the Church. So Karl Barth was a, a really brilliant Swiss theologian. Um, Barth, in many ways, is very influential in modern theology. I, I very much personally appreciate many aspects of Barth's thought. His ethical thought is particularly interesting um, because of the time and when he lived. He lived um, during the time of Nazi Germany, and he was one of the sort of leading theological figures who tried to resist um, the Nazis when, when uh, much of the German church establishment at the time went along with Hitler. So, when you read this text, I want you to think about these questions. How does Barth construe the doctrine of election? Now, the doctrine of election is going to be important for how we think about Christian ethics, and if you think about the, the questions we just asked about the relationship between Israel and the Church, the Hebrew Scriptures and the New Testament, the example of Jesus, if we, as the Church, are constitute or are part of God's elect, whatever that means, that's going to bear on how we're supposed to live. Now, how does Bart think about election in this text? I'll give you a hint. It's not exactly the way Calvin thought about election. Um, and it's very creative, and it's, it's been very influential in contemporary theology. So second, how does Bart's understanding of election relate Israel and the church? How does he, what does he see as continuity or discontinuity between Israel and the church? And what are some possible implications for Bart's understanding of election for how we think about Christian ethics?